Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No One Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to cover the basics of iMovie and uh, basically how you guys can get started with iMovie, especially if this is your first time. So what I'm going to do, jump, jump right in, I'm going to open up iMovie. It's the new version of iMovie which is going to be 10.0.4, 10.0.4 and uh, <clears throat> your iMovie may start out by looking something like this. It is very important that we uh, start at the same location. Your iMovie might look like this, or it might look with the actual libraries open already. But if you don't have the libraries open, you can just hit that little show button, and it will show your libraries. Now, just just for this uh, tutorial particularly, um, let's say if you are moving, you're going to the new version of iMovie from a previous version of iMovie. I do suggest uh, going to File and going to Update Projects and Events. That way, all of your old iMovie projects and events will be transferred over and smoothly moved over to this, um, the new version of, of iMovie. And uh, if you have a lot in the previous version, just give it some time because it will take a little bit for you to transfer everything over. But other than that, if you are this is just your first time opening up iMovie, you don't know what it is, then you don't need to worry about this. You don't, you're not going to need to do this. So let's just jump right in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by creating our first project. So what you're gonna do is go up to this create pro, the little plus sign at the top of your screen and placing that plus sign, we're gonna go to movie. Don't worry about trailer, that's uh, just making a separate trailer, but we're gonna create a movie. I'm gonna select this. <clears throat> and uh, from here you can choose from different themes. I most of the time go to uh, no theme. As you can see, there's several here to choose from, but I'm gonna go to no theme and uh, basically make my own theme within my own project. So I double click that to launch it and it's just gonna give you, you want to create the name for your theme and then also select the event. Now, if you are, if this is like your first time opening up iMovie, you may have to create an event beforehand. It will give you, prompt you to do so right here, most likely. But since I already have an event, I'm just gonna go to iMovie tutorial um, event. And an, what an event is where it stores all your footage for that for that um, project basically. And then the project name is gonna be right here, my movie, but I'm gonna name it my tutorial. And then I'm gonna hit okay. And it should create that project right away within my iMovie event, which is down here at the bottom. Now, I don't, per personally, I don't like this uh, layout, but I do suggest using this layout if you're planning on going on to Final Cut Pro, which Final Cut Pro looks very similar to this, along with the timeline being down here at the bottom and then all your uh, footage actually right here in the middle. So as you can see, I just selected my event, iMovie Tutorials, and uh, my project, my tutorial is actually in there now. Now, if you if it didn't prompt you to create an event, you can create an event by, uh, when you have your libraries open, you can right click on the library section, right click on your click, and then go to new event, and it will have you create a new event, and it will give you the title for it, and then from here you can change the name of that event to whatever you prefer. So I'm gonna delete that one for now though. So you can create an event that way if it didn't prompt you to do so at the create a project screen. So once you have your uh, event and your project within your event, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just for my purpose, either way, I like, I like to, I'll prefer the old version of iMovie look. So I'm gonna go to window up here and I'm gonna go to, it says swap project and event. What basically it's gonna do is gonna put this window up here the event into uh, the project window. So these, both of these windows are gonna be swapped basically. So I'm gonna go to window and uh, swap project to event again. And here we have it. This is our project here at the bottom now with along the event and its footage. Now from here, you can adjust the size of these. If you go up to this far right hand corner right next to the search bar where it says hide rejected, or it's, it may say all clips on yours, but Select this little option and then you can change the clip size. You can adjust the size of it. And from here you can also have the zoom in of like how much how much you see of the actual clip. And then also you can have show wave formats or gives you the actual audio form. Since these are only images, they're not gonna have any audio to them. But I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller, actually as small as I can have them. And then same goes up here. You can adjust the clip size, but since we don't have any clip size in there, we won't be seeing any differences at the moment. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna import a project. Now you can import uh, footage into your iMovie uh, two different ways. And the uh, first way is going through this import option up here. You just simply select that import and it should load up. 
And then from here, you can choose where you want to import from. It could be an external drive uh, data. Even if you plug in your iPhone, you can import from your iPhone. But most of the time, I import straight from your de my desktop. And uh, what I'm going to do is up here, it's, it even shows you like little categories. But I'm going to go to desktop, and I want to import to, to my iMovie tutorials, the event. So from my desktop, and let me look for the video. I believe the video I named was my tutorial my tutorial right here so import selected and as you can see now within our iMovie tutorial events we have the actual my tutorial footage that I just imported now with this footage you can now simply you can select the entire footage and hit the little plus sign and put it into your project or you can or you can select just clips and portions of the clip that you want to import and like it's like a, you just left click and drag to select that little portion and then hit that little plus sign to add it in there or you can simply drag and drop and drag it in, in there now as you can see I have the wave formats here that's because in this little option here show wave formats is selected you can make that disappear if you'd like I'm also going to increase the size of the footage a little bit so I can see it better and keep it right about there and as you can see we have our footage in in the project and from here we can go on to editing and additional items and I have further tutorials to cover further additional uh, more specifics regarding um, the how to edit and all that regarding footage be sure to check out the playlist in the tutorial in the description I have a playlist of all my tutorials if you're looking for something more in depth but you will find most of your editing options down here transitions titles maps rounds iTunes sound effects garage band and that's the bottom left hand corner of iMovie then at the top right hand corner of iMovie you'll find your adjustments and here you can find additional like stabilizing cropping uh, audio slow motion effects and uh, just visual effects and just trimming the audio and then also picture in picture cut and green screen effects as well now to export a project is um, I have further tutorials on that as well um, you're gonna go up to the share button right here and uh, at the very top of your screen so let's say you've already edited your project you can now share it share that option and go to I normally go to file and then choose to export it straight to my desktop I'll give an example right of that in just a moment but you can share it to theater which is just right over here in iMovie in theater mode which basically saves it through iCloud as well you can and then you can access it through any of your devices also you have email iTunes YouTube Facebook Vimeo CNN I report and I file I mean file so I'm gonna go to file right now and give you a little example here's just gonna be the title of your video you can add a little description to it um, tags if you wish and then the quality of it and it depends the quality very varies depending on how your original sources what you recorded it in and also it tells you the estimated size size of the video shows you the nine seconds you can drag through it to see how the footage actually came out and then also you, after you hit next then you can choose where you will actually want to save it to like I prefer to save it on my desktop that way I can find it right away and um, you can name it whatever you want again basically the main title of the footage that it's gonna be on your desktop and you just hit save and it will process depending on how big your footage is uh, for example like five minute footage if it's in 1080p should take no longer than 10 to 15 minutes to export and here you are. I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't want to export that and that's basically it the basics of iMovie and I hope this video is a lot better than my previous uh, basics of iMovie tutorial uh, like I said, leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. I'm going to be more than happy to answer anything and help you guys. And uh, be sure to check out my other tutorials and subscribe. Thank you guys. We'll later. Let my life be the proof.